What's up everybody? Happy Wednesday to you. Today is Wednesday, January 22nd, 2020. You know, one of my favorite words is consistent. That word means unchanging in nature, standard, or effect over time. And I think about how that is just one of the things that I have just been proud of, uh, if we can be proud of ourselves and, you know, dust our shoulders off, tap ourselves on the back. I've been proud of myself uh, regarding uh, that area of life, of ministry, of work over the years that I've been consistent. And uh, I've heard from people over the years who have spoken about the transitions that I've gone through in life, uh, in ministry, in work, and they have told me, you know, you've always been consistent. And uh, yeah, I'm proud of myself because of that. And that's what I want to address with you. I want to address with you what may be perceived as a lack of consistency. Even as far as social media and posting quotes and videos and thoughts. Here's the thing. I remember getting a word a few years ago and the prophet said to me that there was a growing microphone. And uh, I had been placed in some uh, situations and had been, had been giving given some opportunities where my microphone was growing and where there were opportunities that were coming uh, to my way that was blowing my mind. But right now I'm in a place where, uh, who knows what that growing microphone looks like, but this is what I do know, that my microphone is changing. And uh, as that microphone changes, uh, I have to be sure that when I use that microphone, it is literally because what I'm saying is coming out of the boardroom of heaven. I have loved the fact that so many people in 2019 and 2020 have come out with podcasts and now everybody in their mother, in their grand, in their great great grand, grandmother. Uh, they are all attracting people to their YouTube channels. Listen, no shade. No tea, <laughs> just a little bit. <laughs> but listen, do your thing, and I'm so excited for you. Be consistent. Uh, make the heart of the matter the fact that it is a matter of the heart. But for me, I'm in a place now where if I am going to do a video, if I'm going to put up something on Twitter or on Facebook, it is literally because God told me to do so and because it's literally on my heart. So, um, as you judge, as you <laughs> as you rate, as you like or unlike, or thumbs up or thumbs down channels, podcasts, and whatever else there may be out there, understand that uh, as far as Pierre Lamar Johnson, um, when I come to you, it's because there's something that's on my heart that I've been sitting with, and it's just so important for me to get out at that moment. So you may not see a reset video every Monday. You may not see a reflect, reflect video every Thursday. But understand, there are some things that I'm just sitting on. And when it's time, I'll get it to you. So uh, I'm not sick, I'm not depressed, I'm not going through things, but my microphone is changing. And um, I'm just going along with that change. So let that be settled. And uh, hey, you may get a video from me next week. And if not, maybe the week after that. And not maybe next month. But don't unsubscribe. Don't, un un don't unsubscribe. <laughs> Stick with a brother. Um, as God gives it to me. I practice the pause and understand uh, what he's saying to me and why and uh, how this is to be communicated to you. I'll give it to you. But until then, I'm going to hold on to it, sit on it, test the validity of the whispers that I feel like I'm hearing from God as far as what should be said. Um, and then when it's time to come out, I'll send it on out. But until then, I'm keep it locked in, you know. There's nothing like giving a word that is weighty. Weighty words. If we just speak whatever thought comes to mind, eh, 
come out and be a little empty. But we've identified the why behind the what and understand what the purpose is as far as what the boardroom of heaven uh, uh, legislated. <laughs> That's weighty. So, I'm not being inconsistent. I'm just looking forward to weighty moments with you. Peace. Thank you for sticking with me over the years. <laughs>